the city has a website, which I actually think is quite impressive. And it would be an excellent way for notifying residents of this city who are deeply concerned about this issue. I, and so I would suggest that that might be one of the first places you look in terms of posting information and providing mean, meaningful lights, and timely uh, updates. The white ladies at the campground, they don't, she was saying well, they don't have the oh, electronic do. communication. We do, but there are people but you say, I, I, I don't know how to reach those folks who right. are saying that. And, and, and you can work through that. There's ways to work through that. But my question is, okay, now let's talk damages. From the county, you can come to the citizens. Is the city of Valdosta going to put up a claim form on the beautiful city of Valdosta webpage so that we have a means of filing claims against the city of Valdosta and they can flow those claims down to the subcontractors? That would be discussed a little bit at the beginning. Well, I think that should be an action item. Okay, absolutely. Like I said, that's what we'd already discussed, like I said, with the third party contract, because we knew we were going to have But there needs to be a means of collecting claims from the public and from the county. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain that will take place once we decide exactly how the procedure is going to work. I, I, I can't just do it. It's got to be a procedure. Yeah. So, so, yes, we have had, we have, that's a great question. We, we, we're well, we certainly would appreciate it if you would improve the communication to the citizens who are here in this room who have actually live in the city, pay taxes, and are deeply concerned about this problem. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. But I, just, just, I don't know if we're wrong tonight, but I just want to share, we talked a lot about communication and notification. Let me kind of say, and I'm not trying to get them here by any means, but I just want to share this with you. After this last event, EPD doesn't want us to contact you guys because y'all are finding out before they find out that people are making calls in there before they put in the information. So now we are we're catching from all sides again, not playing the victim, but when it comes to communication, I'm, I'm with it. But you know, and I, I tell each one of you, I told them absolutely not I'm going to stop. If they find us, whatever has to take place, I'm not going to stop doing that. And I'm with you about finding a better so, way of communicating. Can I this question? So your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? You mentioned it before the baby. I think we should let the governor know we don't like that <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and your quality of life in the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And with the Coochie River, the Hall River, the Lapahoochee, all of them, to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I'm, I, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We, for the next four quarters, I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. With people who, um, one of the things we were talking about initially was, you know, you have some joint money and utilize it, to, everybody's cool to utilize and our public information officer to do that. <coughs> we never got back to that, and last year that was one of our goals to try to get some central marketing uh, uh, for our region on that ecotourism. I think that's a great idea, as it's shown, you know, we're working together trying to get the problem solved. So marketing, one of the things I did talk about with EMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. That we were very willing to speak to that as well. So, just another option that we may have is exactly what you're talking about. And 
you know, the terrorist events happen. We have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how do we improve the quality of life on the river. It's, it's a market, market advantage. You have a big water that's got minor. Um, I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority. But again, send what you are. Do it and see what comes up. So I think it's your major market advantage down there, especially in the price areas. Like you got water. And I think you got lots of land. And I think you got three, two state parks and one private park. I think you also have Greenville Plantation down there. I think you're going to block the market. I think it would be very attractive for that from the city to vote. And we have Blue Springs at the yeah. Hamilton County, <coughs> and this one in Madison County. That's probably at one time one of the most visited deep 